While we look forward to Diwali for a number of reasons, one thing I'm sure all of us wait for is our Diwali bonuses. But the big question is, what do you plan to do with your bonus this year? Spend it all or invest at least some part of it? Obviously, we recommend you invest it and you're sure to reap the rewards. So here are some smart investments that you can make with your Diwali bonuses. Diwali, specifically Dhanteras, is that auspicious day when there is a huge rush to buy gold. So how can you have your cake and eat it too? And by that, I mean how can you buy gold and make some returns? The answer is gold ETFs or the recently launched gold monetization scheme. These options allow you to buy the yellow metal and will give you better returns than gold bullion. But remember, don't let gold in any form take up more than 10% allocation in your investment portfolio. You could also use your bonus to protect your family better, both in terms of life and health insurance. So if your life cover isn't at least 10 to 12 times your annual salary, then top it up. And if you don't have adequate health insurance for yourself and your family, or if you're depending only on your employer's MediClaim, then use this money to increase your health cover or opt for a separate MediClaim policy. A good way to utilize your Diwali bonus is to pay off any debts. This is something I recommend strongly, especially if you have any short-term high-interest debts like personal loans or outstanding credit card bills. Credit cards charge an interest of anywhere between 20 to 40 percent, while personal loans also cost between 12 to 15 percent. And if your bonus is sufficient enough to prepay even one EMI, it's worth it. Because even though it may seem like a small amount, it could reduce the tenure of your loan significantly. Another important thing to remember is that like your regular income, your Diwali bonuses are also subject to tax liability. So if you haven't exhausted your tax saving options, then it's a good avenue to invest your bonus. If you want to top up your equity investments, then you could look at ELSS funds. If you need to add to your retirement corpus, then the National Pension Scheme is a great option. Senior citizens can opt for the Senior Citizen Savings Schemes. So whatever your financial goal is, ensure that you utilize the tax benefits that are available to you. On a side note, if you have a daughter below the age of 10, you must invest in the Sukanya Samridhi Scheme because it gives you the highest interest rate among the small savings schemes. If you were thinking of using your Diwali bonus to give in to your child's demands of thousands of rupees worth of firecrackers or expensive clothes and toys, then you might want to think again. You could use this bonus amount to start creating a corpus for your child's higher education. If that's more than five to seven years away, then invest entirely into equities. And if it's three to five years away, then invest in a mix of debt and equity investments. So those are some ways for you to invest your Diwali bonus. No matter how small the amount is, if you invest smartly, it's sure to go a long way in helping you achieve your financial goals. Here's wishing you a very happy Diwali and a profitable new year. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, comment and share. Thank you so much for watching.